Welcome to another um, uh, Grim Shrimp video. Today, we are going to take a look at the game Neo Scavenger, also known as a Neo Scavenger demo, as I am not playing it on the full version. Um, the demo is actually pretty good. I suggest that you check it out on the Google Play or the App Store or whatever, but it's good. It, in Steam, it costs like three dollar, three to four dollars now. So yippee! <laughs> it's only a discount, so I don't care. Anyways, um, today we're just gonna look at um, a Neo Scavenger. Neo Scavenger is the only game where um uh, cannibalism is allowed. Um, as you can see in this new screen, we have a set of skills along with a set of flaws. Skills can come in from hacking, from uh, hacking, to medic, to hiding, to melees, to eagle eye, tracking athlete metabolism, strong and tough, trapping botany, lockpicking electrician, mechanic, and ranged. There's also some um, disadvantages or flaws that you would like to choose, such as mytopia, metabolism, feeble, fragile, insomniac, and inverted. But we're going to do a flaw a new flaws a um, uh, survival survival demo so testing this it is actually a very tough loadout of skills but it will be good your first set is strong it uses up um, six skill points and it is good for melee characters but we are not doing a melee character today we're doing a a uh, survivalist character Next, we're going to choose Athlete. It allows you to run faster and move across tiles much faster. Tracking. Tracking is good for you. It lets you see farther and also see the tracks of other people. Then you have Metabolism, which is good for um, uh, doing... Um, uh, it'll be very, very um, uh, beneficial during this run as... The game will have to make you kill a lot of people. And with that, if you have a knife, you cut up those people to make human flesh. And apparently, it's beneficial for you. It also turns you into a Wendigo. <laughs> Next, we have Mechanic. And those five skills are what is, are is going to get you across the levels. And remember, no flaws. This is a flawless... Loadout. You want to choose this? I suggest you choose this. But it's mainly your choices that will mainly affect you along with what you do. And if you manage to loot a bunch of stuff or find stuff. Or if you do anything that doesn't involve coming in contact with a bad mutha with a crowbar. Anyways, let's go. You arrive in this screen once you are into the game. As you woke up from a distorted slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod, still damp from the cryo fluid, the thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large number five is painted. Across the room there's an open door and then a hallway, a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hallway beyond the door. Something is coming. Fast. Mechanic. We're just gonna rig the door shut. Um, what actually this is, is um, uh, a wolf man, and I do not like wolf men, so let's just do that. We um, uh, close the door shut, and if you wanted to, you can do tracking, either humanoid dragging something, and uh, you know, there's our, where is it? Um, tank 5. Apparently, Tank 5 is us. Apparently. It is us. So, anyways, let's just climb out the window. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. You decide to go outside and you see if you can figure out where you are. Void and break glass, you slip plants, and then holler, blah, 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 blah. This doesn't matter. They're just some visuals. Gaggy's cryo facility, hibbity hibbity har, frustration mounts. Uh, 
it, it, it doesn't matter. So here is your menu. The, up in the top right corner is some of your current conditions. Right now I'm barefoot and I have camp benefits. Um, equipped in on you is a hospital wrist, wrist, wrist strap labeled Philip Kindred, which is your name, along with a talisman, which will never be explained until I manage to get the full game because I'm poor. Anyways, we have a shard of glass on the ground. Yippee. So um, I'll tell you what to do with that later. So after clicking the blue, blue scavenge button, you um, uh, come up to this screen. Here you just select the Gigas Cryo Facility in order for you to scavenge. You, um, uh, this also over here is the stats of the, your building. Usually there would be stuff in this box right here in the middle telling you what stuff you can use which will benefit your loot your safety and your sneak or vice versa so let's just do that there is nothing but a window I shall use the window explore the hall firm Alright, we'll just leave. So after coming outside, you, the world will be gener randomly generated, and it will um, uh, usually do some stuff. So over here is a hex. Your athletic stat will affect this. With your athletic stat, you can move from more tiles and a bunch of other stuff. So here we go. And then the screen will pop up. This isn't really important unless you are addicted to the plot. So afterwards, you're in this screen. Here's what you gotta do. You go up here, you press this scavenge button. You hit, okay? That is the most important button that you'll have to click every time you go on a tile like this. You look around you, there's a bunch of stuff. Click on this. That is an abandoned house. And here is where our strong skill will come in. Your strong skill boosts the loot. The more loot you get, the more the more stuff you're going to get. Some days you'll get a crowbar, some days you'll get a frying pan. <laughs> and whatever you get in your hands that's sharp or blunt or as a weapon is good because that means you get to survive. Let's just click that. We got ourselves some loot. In our first run, we have a Oh, what is this? I forgot from left to right. A right um a uh, boot. Then we have ourselves a fur cloak, or patchwork hide, I don't care. Condition 10, we just put this on, and then we put on the sweater and the jeans. We are lucky that there is a bag here, because now we get to the more beneficial, ooh. Ooh, some drugs. I'm going to take that. Put it in my pocket. Yippee. Um... So here's what you gotta do. Come across some rags, put it on your face. You don't need that. All you need to do is put it on your face. Or when you climb out a window bad, you just put them on your body. Somewhere on your body. It doesn't matter. <laughs> later on, we'll come across a, um, uh, a shopping cart that will be useful later. Now we got all this stuff. We have a shard in our hand. We can just do that. And actually, no. We're just gonna punch people. And um, uh, we got some bottles. They will be beneficial for us later in the run. And since this is a mobile RNG slash demo, you'll have to come across some um, uh, situations, like in most RPGs. In this RPG, you um, uh, open up a box in an old cupboard, and it has some toxic black mold. Yes, this right here is Great Britain. Now we look at a storage shed or whatever. It's stuck crawling through some debris or deal. Uh, let's see if there's any scratches on us. Nope, there's no scratches. All right, we're good. So if you're re if the button says end turn, that means it's a good time to um, end the turn because you ran out of points or movement points in order to do anything. So now we find this. 
And um, uh, we find some more bottles. We can't fit any more bottles in our hands. Um, I would usually get a um, uh, another a um, uh, yeah, I'll get another shopping bag. Put two of them just in case if this first bag breaks. So right here is some water, and you have to drink that. You know why? This stats over here on the left. They um uh, they represent your um uh, well-being to your own health. Um, uh, they don't care on what they're carrying. Yeah, sure, it's really nice. Um, uh, let's go. So earlier, a couple seconds back, we saw some dude, and that dude is a stranger. Strangers will usually um attack you or something along those lines. <gasps> oh. We found ourselves some good stuff. We found ourselves a lighter, some bullets, some bullets, and some other things. All right, they don't have anything. And we found ourselves a left boot. <laughs> and the most important part of our build, a shopping cart. Shopping carts are the most vital part of this build. If you want to survive the British wilderness, you will have to equip a shopping cart. And your battle strategy will depend and on your life with that shopping cart. That shopping cart is your life. It's your hustle, your grind. It, will, it means everything to you when you equip that shopping cart. It will carry all of your, of your human flesh that you cut up in the morning. Everything is useful to you. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> you use that shopping cart like it's your waifu. You don't care. It, it does everything for you. I'm sounding more like a weeb. Help me. Ah, uh, what? Just in time. Look who's over there. Um, uh, we just go over here. We press that button to um, uh, see all this stuff. We press the spy button and on the suburban ruins. Please let me spy. Uh, yes. This uh, this dude is depositing loot, and, and it is a stranger. Strangers um, usually have a bunch of crap on them. That means that they're good. <laughs> I want to come up to this man. Drop my... There, as you just saw, it said, ditch the shopping cart. That is what you always do when you have a shopping cart, and you are in combat. The first thing you do, drop your shopping cart. You'll have the maximum mobility after you drop that shopping cart during the round. Okay. There, I'm uh, moving away. Um, so, right here in the middle, it says range 7. Best cover, medium. Terrain, level. And it, that All this stuff means that your battleground is perfect for this attack. Um, this dude has a hunting rifle, I'm scared. Uh, anyways... I will take his hunting rifle and then kill many crackheads with it. So, right here is the range. The range is around 2 to 0. When you get to 2 to 0, boom, you can attack people. And I will use my bare hands to attack this man, along with um, uh, cutting up his flesh and crap. As you can see, as we moved on to the next round, it went from 7 to 4. And down here, we can see all the stuff that I'm... Um, uh, that the stranger does to us. He charges at us. He wants to do in a, do in a fight, I guess. And now we do the same to him back. As you can see, the range is now 1. It is sunny. The best cover medium terrain is level. There, they charge at, I charge at Bat Mutha. He advances towards me very slowly. And, and now I shall hit him with an aura. <laughs> wow. Um, he, um, uh, he got me with a rifle, but unable to move for a moment. Shit, I need to run. I need to run. I am in a concussion for some reason. I don't know why.
He's chasing me. Look at this. He's actually getting slower. Charges at me. I need to run. Okay, I'll tell you when I'm out. Okay, that was a very unsuccessful run. Um, as you can see, final moments are there. Um, this is all the stuff that I'm uh, that was in me. Apparently, we didn't manage to become a Wendigo. I'm so sad. I was. Remember, during the run, you always want to avoid people with weapons. This is one thing that always teaches me. It doesn't matter whatever you do. Whatever you do, it makes the choice. It makes a choice for you. You are the one that makes these choices. Anyways, let's continue. Um, the mechanic does something for you, at least. We're just gonna go with that again. Because remember, it's your choices that make you die. <laughs> We're just gonna do all this. But this time, we are going to go in strong and attack that dog man. We grab his throat, and then we tear, uh... And then we crush this one pipe, but yeah, yeah, sure. Later. I'm um, later. Alright, we're out. Now we just scavenge this place. And now we found a window. This time we found more shards of glass. Oh, I can't equip that. But here's what you can do with this fresh dog man meat you can go up to him grab your shard and look at that oh meat from a large corpse Ugh. and even more <laughs> you can turn him into flesh <laughs> and it doesn't matter it doesn't turn you into a wendigo um small chunk of fur yeah i'll keep that definitely for my trophy against the furries Hashtag furry heat for life. Apparently, I can't make anything with this crap. What if I place some sunlight in it? No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's worthless. Um, you'll come back to that later. Um, now we go to here. Yeah, sure, we are recording. Um, go here. Do our, do the usual. You, um, uh, you click. Strong. Click. Um, raid. Strong, boom, mutant, boom, repeat. I will never forget you. <laughs> we just go there, scavenge, repeat. It, it's pretty simple if you think about it. There, boom, there we go. Now we got some real weapons, a whiskey bottle. Actually, we're going to keep that whiskey bottle. That's, that's essential. Water bottle. The reason why we keep these water bottles, magazines, and papers is because you don't need them. You, you, um, uh, you just wear everything that's off the floor. That's what my Uncle Harry said one time. Sometimes when you're a poor sack of shit, just grab stuff off the floor. Yeah, sure. As you can see, we can still scavenge some crap you know, rinse, repeat, when you find some good stuff, like some drugs on the ground, that means you are in a good hot spot for loot. <laughs> loot is what gets you the hustle around here. Actually, let's check on our wounds. Over here, pressing that button, you can see all of the mistakes in life that you made. You can just press that right there. <laughs> and I'm, uh, wait a minute, hold up. Can we... Oh, we can't break it. <laughs> but we can use this weapon, switch our um, a weapon to multi-tool, <laughs> and continue scavenging. <laughs> it's really just the grind that I have to deal with. <laughs> and you see this pool? That, uh, that right there is a marsh. And I'm, uh, that marsh is very good. You know why? It has water. And why do we have water bottles? For that, and that right there is what I'm looking for. Yep. 
Yep, it's good. Now, don't be alarmed when your bottles have a weird, distasteful color, because that means that you have a whiskey or a Coca-Cola bottle, and that it's perfectly fine. Now it's perfect. Are you fucking kidding me, you little sick little bitch? I'm gonna hunt you, find your family, and then murder them, you understand me? Okay, I decided to make the right adult decisions and I'm gonna uh, run away from the situation because I'm a sick little turd. <laughs> I'm gonna run. I'm gonna make the right decisions and run away. Oh. He fired at me. He has a gun. Run. He has a gun. Run. Just run. Get up. I'm going to run away from the situation. Because I don't like getting shot at. Oh. That's not good. I need to find some crap and fast, or I'm going to die to blood loss or something. Yeah, don't, don't come across a man with a gun. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Uh, I have lost blood. <gasps> oh! Please, 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 Oh, good God. What? Huh? Get. Mm -mm. Alright, now we have an extra water bottle and a shopping cart. Nice. But. And we will. We will take it. We shall take what we must in order to survive the British jungle. Or wherever we are. I really do not want to touch this man. He has groped me with his gun way too much. Um, I'm just going to run eastward. Because apparently, if you get the full game, that's what you're supposed to do. You run um, east, and then you see... Siren glow. It's the glow. Look at it. So beautiful. Okay, so apparently my shopping cart fell apart. Why in the world would my shopping cart fall apart? Come on, you gotta be kidding me, right? Come on, I invested in that shopping cart. Okay, I can see again, yippee. So I don't have the shopping cart anymore. Um, yeah, it broke down into um, uh, many pieces. So I'm just going to take, wait a minute, who groped my body again, hold up, my plastic bag fell apart, somehow, <gasps> there it is, good god we have another plastic bag, I would have died. Okay, we don't need a papers anymore. Just gonna keep running. We do, we do not want that ever happening. When we get a backpack from a, another um uh, crackhead, we we can um uh, upgrade our um uh, stupid trash bag because we look like a douchebag with all this crap. <gasps> Sleeping bag and bullets. <laughs> eh. Okay, just... And remember, always be organized, even for a crackhead standards, because you don't know what type of weird, obsolete creature will come your way, and I'm gonna give you a lot of pain. Okay, I got minor blood loss, but that's okay, I don't... That's only... A... It's o Tis only a scratch. Tis only a scratch, yes. Tis only a scratch. Okay, we continue our movement north. 
Now we've come to cross this. You know, this is what you have to do, technically, if you want to survive. Um, you just collect stuff off the floor and stuff. So, oh, and also, take all the drugs, because you, because you don't, because, think about it. If you take the drugs, who knows what type of mad psychopath is going to take it. Oh, ooh, new shopping cart, yippee. We're going to place all our food in it and all our access Coca-Cola bottles and some, uh, yeah, yeah, that's really good, that's really good, nah, 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 nah. hey, give me back, give me back that, thank you, thank you, okay, we're still in burden, we don't care what we're carrying, as long as that shopping bag holds on. All right, we're good. Let's just keep moving. We're going to pass that for now. I cannot run in combat. Who cares? Where is a pocket of civilization? This is hills. Really does remind me of England. Anyways, I think that's enough that we have time for today. This is just a basic tutorial on how to survive the jungle. If I did a terrible job, or if you did something terribly wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Um, uh, get the demo um, uh, for the game. It doesn't even matter if you get the full game. Plot is terrible, but game gameplay is good. You get to look like me with all this crap. You die a lot, and you um, uh, do all sorts of crap a lot. So it's okay. If you um, uh, die a lot of times, it's perfectly normal. Always learn from your mistakes. And if you're doing something wrong, or if there's another build, set of skills, um, uh, that I should try next, um, uh, let me know. If these five, um, uh, flawless skills perfectly suit you, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear your, um, uh, suggestions for this, um, uh, demo. But, um, uh, please, I need, I need money. I'm poor. And I'll look like this in the future if you don't support me. Please, just help me. Goodbye. Also to note, there is no intro. There is no intro or an outro for a long time. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to screw all of you later. Don't expect to see an outro in a while.